but Frotch is one of these special fighters who seems to get stronger as the fight goes on, seems to heat up and throw more punches as the fight goes on, and Groves is a guy who likes to set up his shots more, be more careful and perfect with his shots, which gave him the advantage early, but not later in their first fight. The challenger from Hammersmith, St. George Brown. The first fight was in the Midlands. That was Crotch's home turf. Now they fight in London, and this is George Grove's home turf. So if either fighter could be expected to have a crowd support advantage among the 80,000 in the arena tonight, that would be George Groves. And Roy Jones, there's a big cultural gap between the Midlands and London. To a certain degree, there's London and then there's England. And Frotch and Groves are not immune to that. It's been a part of their Twitter dialogue for the past several months. But here's what's fascinating. And Max Kellerman made a point of this. Groves has gotten under Frotch's skin on Twitter. So much so that Frotch freely acknowledges he hired a sports psychologist and sat down with the sports psychologist for the past few months to help him to handle the psychological confrontation with Groves. He believes he got angry at Groves in the first fight and it affected his performance. Is he showing vulnerability by acknowledging that he hired a sports psychologist? Well, he's showing vulnerability, but he's also showing that he's trying to fix the problem before it fixes him. He's fixing the problem before the fight happens this time. Last time he didn't address the issue, which he probably should have, but instead he chose to have that Twitter war. And I always tell fighters, you should not get into Twitter wars with people because it causes things that you probably can't fix all the night that you have to perform. If you get all angry, a guy is so much, it's easier for a guy to see everything you're doing because you're doing so much out of anger. And maybe Groves is an exception though, and he, Max, has been hitting Frotch over Twitter day after day after day. What's remarkable about what you point out, Jim, is Frotch through his career has always been the guy to get under the other guy's skin. And here's this young kid who obviously may, I mean, Frotch doesn't like this guy. He, there's real animus there. But a veteran fighter like Frotch, who's usually in control of that dynamic, is suddenly seeing a sports psychologist to stop this young kid from antagonizing him? Giving Groves the opportunity to say, I'm in control of this situation. I'm the one who's dangling him like a puppeteer. He is, and what that, uh, that also is uh, the product of is when guys look at you when you're on the top of the world, everybody watches you. So he realizes that that's one of the things that, that Frotch had the advantage of. He always was able to get under other guys' skin. Who has ever come and got under his skin? And if you've watched Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko in recent years, You've seen the increasing bent in Europe in fights which take place in the European theater toward more and more theatrical entrances and build-ups and walks to the ring. And Groves is enjoying all of that before this massive crowd in London right now.